Welcome to your Wednesday lunch break. I'm Tanya Rivero. New York Giants tight end Daniel Fells continues to battle a MRSA infection, and there is fear the severity of the infection may result in part of his foot having to be amputated. So how common are MRSA infections? To discuss this, we're joined now by Dr. Nancy Simpkins, a board-certified internist. Dr. Simpkins, thanks for being with us and helping us sort this out. MRSA is actually a very common bacteria, correct, and can be found almost everywhere? That's correct, Tanya. So it is really just a group of staph infections, which are normally found on the skin of average healthy individuals. So it's really not an issue. Um, the only issue is if the MRSA itself gets into the bloodstream through an open wound, which was the case with the football player. And how many people a year die from MRSA infections? Do we have numbers on that? Well, the thing is, people do have, not so many people die as have some serious complications. For instance, amputation of a finger or a toe um, is measured in the hundreds. The deaths are really not as severe as people might want to think because it really has to do with a small group of population of people who really play contact sports. That's our biggest problem with this disease. Right. Well, let's talk about why that is because I guess according to a study by Vanderbilt University, athletes in contact sports are twice as likely to contract a MRSA infection. Why is that? Well, so for instance, the contact sport, falling against the turf on a football field, for instance, you skin your leg. That's an open area of skin. All of that staph can get into that wound mm -hmm. and really cause a problem. In addition, for instance, high school, college, professional wrestlers who have an opened wound and are on a mat, and that, that mat comes in contact with the open wound with the staff, and then the other wrestler has an open wound. It is kind of person to person or via the in um, the mat or the football field itself. I, so, I have to be honest with you, though, as a parent, I hear this and I think, oh, my gosh, how worried should I be if my son goes to the playground, falls down and cuts his leg? I mean, we just heard that MRSA is everywhere. How concerned should we be about situations like that? So I think that parents have to know and adults have to know what to do. So we wash out every wound and we watch it for the next 24 to 48 hours. If the wound heals normally, which it will, 95% of the time, there's nothing more to do. If it becomes, looks red, swollen, almost like a spider bite, that is an alarming thing. That might be MRSA and that should immediately be seen by a doctor. Because the key is acting fast, correct? That is correct. So now in, in the football player's case, he had an injury. He received a cortisone injection. So cortisone, what that does is it decreases the immune system, especially in the area of the injury. Then he had an open wound. Then he had bacteria. And he thought his pain was coming from his injury and not from the infection. Mm -hmm. So until he developed a high fever, did he seek medical attention? And there was a very long lag period in not his fault, but because he thought he was injured and not because he had an infection. So what do we want the word to get out? If, if your injury heals normally, there is nothing to do. If you notice red swelling, what looks like an insect bite mm -hmm. in an area of an infection, that must be seen immediately. Act quickly. Now, should we worry that MRSA is getting even more resistant? I mean, we hear it being called a superbug. Should we worry more about this? So basically, we now have two intravenous antibiotics that are effective against MRSA. And so as long as you get yourself to a major medical center that has access to those two antibiotics, you should be okay. There's more of it out there, but we still do have a couple antibiotics that are effective against even the methicillin-resistant staph, which is what MRSA stands for. All right. Thank you so much for all that important information, Dr. Simpkins.